Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Mina and I'm going to be sharing with you my dream 100 baby challenge house along with my cat. I guess he's here to stay. <laughs> okay, so for this house, I was kind of wanting this plan of it being really, really big and spacious and just like a lot of rooms, a lot of bathrooms. A lot of rooms didn't happen, but I also wanted like a my version of a toddler dungeon. Kind of like what little Simsy did in her 100 baby challenge, kind of like it. Um, but I didn't make a basement, which is fine. It's fine. I'm not, I forget that we have the basement tool and I forget you can do basements. Anyway, um, I was, right here you can kind of see that I'm starting to put on like the windows and the doors and stuff, just the front door. Um, I really like the windows from the Cats and Dogs for some reason. I really like the build CC from it. I also really like some of the furniture. I think some of the furniture is like really nice. But um, I always have like a really a lot of difficulty like, you know, putting the roof on the houses that I have to do it like several times. I'm kind of really happy the way like the roofing and the stuff turned out here I'm like you guys didn't get to see me actually doing like the roofing which is like a shame I did notice like right at this point that the house looks a little lopsided <laughs> I don't think I made it like symmetrical enough I you know regardless if it's symmetrical or not I think it's still a cute looking house I really like how like the color scheme I went with the outside with like the blue siding the bricks on the top which you guys will get to see um but yeah You'll kind of see the layout that I kind of like chose for this and then I'm like setting down the little fence area for the toddlers. I think this room actually turned out really cute. It's like one of my favorite rooms <laughs> the entire house is just that one. It's just the toddler dungeon. I wanted an area where like adult sims can go into it or like teen sims can go into it um, but they can't leave and you can just bring them the food and they'll come like crowd over it and like They'll just eat it like like hungry little velociraptors that sort of stuff <laughs> but anyway um so i think the room turned out really really cute i did cut out a lot of stuff because i went back and forth on like how i wanted the room to look like um that sort of stuff i would put stuff in it takes stuff out and i just didn't want you guys seeing that because to me it's like really boring to see that but also like for some reason the wall in the bathroom that's like connecting to the toddler room which only they have access to from that room like glitches it's like glitching and i don't know what i did i don't know if it's just because the way i put the fence in i don't know but it's just like it's really weird so yeah i really do think this whole little area turned out cute i like the little stickers i put up on the walls and um that sort of stuff i think from here i move on to like the matriarch's room kind of like a master bedroom I believe she gets her own bathroom, but we're just kind of like finished doing the final touches on like the toddler room. But yeah, I think we're moving on to the matriarch room right now. I'm like really in love with that, with that floor choice. And like, I love the idea of like arches into the house so that it's not like closed doors and it feels more open i also so it feels kind of weird that the downstairs i did such a huge entryway and the reason for that is because i wanted room for school projects because it's really frustrating and i hate kicking the kids outside to do school projects so i wanted like a little big area for them to be able to do school projects so i didn't put too much into it i've seen houses that like have a really big like entry area and they don't really have anything in there. There's no couches. There's nothing. I've seen it. It's like really big mansion type houses. Um, in the Matriarch's room, I decided that she was going to get her own bathroom, like I said previously. But I also noticed that there was like this little weird awkward space for like the kitchen area. So I cut it off and I made a nursery room for the baby so that she would only have access to it so that nobody else can go in there the teens aren't like messing with the baby so that if the baby becomes hungry she can go and like feed it essentially i tried to think of like every possible scenario that i would come into in this house and we'll start looking into like the kids rooms and stuff like upstairs for like the older kids but i wanted the toddlers downstairs just because it takes them so long to go up and down the stairs like so 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 long 
and I just didn't want to deal with like having like having them be hungry and then getting threatened that they're gonna get taken away by a social worker <laughs> which I used to get a lot when I was doing uh, my original Hunter Baby Challenge um, on Twitch, which I, I don't stream on Twitch anymore. I took a break. I came to YouTube. Um, I loved streaming on Twitch, but I felt like I was hitting a wall on Twitch and I couldn't get past it. And I also really wanted to learn um, editing and learning making videos and what it takes to run a YouTube channel, which is why now I'm on YouTube. But um, yeah, I love it here. I don't think I'm gonna leave. It's just I really love making videos. It's always been a passion of mine um, to learn editing, and I used to edit like way back in the day AMVs. I don't know if you guys like know about those, um, but like on Windows Movie Maker, I don't edit on Windows Movie Maker anymore. I don't even know if that's a thing still. Um, I use Premiere Pro, which is a lot more complicated than Windows Movie Maker. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna reel it back into um, 100 Baby Challenge. So I did the kitchen and I, I kind of made it a little bit like on the smaller side and then I wanted access to for them to have a backyard, which in my mind, I was thinking that we would have like a basketball court and like all these like fun activities, which I didn't do. <laughs> You'll see in a minute, but I didn't do. And then I moved on to like the living room area, which I wanted this area to feel really cozy and kind of like a really like, like a really cozy family hangout area where like all the sims can get together not like they are gonna get together <laughs> but i just wanted the vibes of it um i eventually put a fireplace in here and also like a desk with a, with a computer which i might regret later on because i'm thinking about using this house um in the future not now um currently in my 100 baby challenge save right now we are living in an apartment. I think we're gonna stay in apartments for Gen 1. And I don't know about Gen 2, but eventually, like, I do want to use this house. I might fix some of the things that I'm not, like, super happy about, like, how lopsided the house looks. I'm not a, I'm not a builder. Like, I try. I want to get better at building, and I feel like maybe I should do more speed builds. But, like, I try desperately to, like, do really good builds and I kind of have this weird thing where like I start off in like a square and then I start doing rooms on the side and then I'll kind of like cut the layout and stuff um that sort of things so now that we're upstairs um you guys will start seeing that I'm actually creating like stall bathrooms I don't have Discovery University so I couldn't really do like a communal bathroom but um I wanted to give the illusion of it so like I created like single tile rooms where the, it's only the toilet and then like two tile rooms where it's the shower and a sink. Um, it gets really 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 annoying when you have a sim that <laughs> you have several sims that need to use the restroom and something breaks, somebody's in the shower or they walk in on each other and um, it's really bad if you have a teen that's embarrassed because if you age them up, they die of embarrassment for some reason. I don't know why, it's like, I hate it. I hate it so much that you have, like, so I tried, I saw um, somebody do this where they created kind of like stall bathrooms. And I was like, wow, that's really smart. I want to do that. So I did. But yeah, I kind of went with like this like kind of like black and white kind of theme with the communal ba bathrooms upstairs. And then we'll start to see where I'm working on like the rooms and stuff here in a minute. So like I created that room and I w originally wanted to be, wanted it to be a little bit bigger. And then I realized that there's bunk beds. So I made the room a little bit smaller and then I started creating a study room where like there's desks in there where they can sit and do their homework. There's no computer just because I don't want them on the computer all the time. Um, I just put like I have desks in there and I put like the little chemistry set which I know catches on fire but like I've never had it catch on fire on me but I like to play dangerously so <laughs> I live life on the edge in the sims so we'll see if it ends up catching fire on me in the future but I just kind of wanted it to be like a really like relaxed spot where like my sims children can go like practice painting their little chemistry get their skills up 
Um, I, I originally wanted to have like the chess in the bed or not the bedroom, the study room, but I realized that it was better outside the study room and this isn't like the, that's not going to be like its final spot. You'll see in a little bit what I do, but I like the whole point of this is that I wanted it to be spacious. I wanted it to be like not too much stuff in it. So like the Sims can have room to do things. Um, I didn't want it to be too cluttered, that sort of stuff. Um, I just didn't want to have to worry about a bunch of stuff. I would have loved to have had laundry in here, but like, do I really want laundry in a 100 baby challenge game? I know like in my, when I'm playing it on my own, I love having laundry just because like it feels so like, I don't know, there's something about it that's like very soothing, even though I hate doing laundry in real life. I just like making my sims do laundry, um, but yeah. So like right now I'm putting on like posters on the wall. I kind of wanted to make it like a cool room, you know. I used to work at the um, Boys and Girls Club and one of the study rooms I really liked trying to make it. Or like we tried to make it as fun as possible to have the kids want to be in there. So I kind of tried to bring that over to my game and kind of make it seem like it was cool. And then you start here seeing me um, adding some touches to the house some like decoration touches and stuff like that so i'm going through like legitimately like debug and i'm picking out you know things that i think would look cute like the snow globes or even like the cookie jars for the kitchen and that sort of stuff um i just really like going in the debug every now and then because there's some stuff that you can find in there that normally isn't in debug just saying um <clears throat> but we'll move upstairs and You'll start to see that I set up a little like music area where they can practice guitar, you know, their karaoke. I was tempted to put a piano in there, um, but I'm not sure how like a piano would fit in that sort of type of situation. I also like started adding the finishing touches to like the nursery room, trying to make it look really like a really cute like baby room. Like, I just love doing nursery rooms for some reason. I don't have like any kids of my own, but I love doing nursery rooms. They're like the cutest thing I could possibly do in like this game. So after we do like, after we focus on like that sort of stuff, we start moving outside into the backyard and this is where like, I just like abandoned all of my plans of like having like a basketball court or like making it really sporty and instead I started making it like a patio area with a pool. I don't know why, I just thought maybe a pool would be cool to have but I think the backyard is a little too small for the pool. So that might end up leaving and I might end up putting something else in it, I, I don't know. You know if you guys have like any suggestions on how I can improve it, um, you know I'm always welcome to suggestions. I always like hearing what you guys have to say about like the 100 baby challenge and like what you guys have done or like some things I can spruce up in the house. I did notice that um, the fence for some reason on one side is on a like, it's above ground. So I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> if this house will be going up on the gallery, if you guys are interested, there's no CC in this house cause I wanted it to be able to put it up in the gallery so I could use it for later. I constantly have a bad habit of emptying my CC files, so I didn't want to have to go hunt down all the CC files and stuff, so that's why I kind of kept it as, you know, clean of CC as I possibly can. So we're coming to the end, and I will hop into the game and show you guys what it looks like. So yeah, here's the house. Um, I think it looks really, really cute. The outside, I could work a little bit more on, like, the landscaping and stuff. But the house overall looks really cute on the from the outside and like this is what like the backyard looks like. You know, it's it's average. <laughs> it's super average, but I do like how there's like a little fishing area right behind the house. This is a new crest, so like the weather isn't like the greatest. So it looks like those aren't gonna work for the house. <laughs> it's fine. It's a good thing that we were looking at it. I may have to see what else I can put on these windows but I guess those weren't working for it which is fine 
So this is what like the little toddler room looks like. Um, I did decide to put a window here just because I felt like it needed to have a window. And then here is the toddler bathroom, which I think looks really, it looks good. I mean, it's, it's average. The matriarch's bedroom and she has her own bathroom. I might actually go ahead and just put another sink there so it doesn't look so weird. The little nursery room, which I think looks really cute. And the kitchen, which is average. I wanted to do like an island, but I couldn't feasibly fit one in there and it look okay because it's kind of a tight fit. Like if it was a little bit more square, we could have had an island, but it's whatever. And then this is what like the little living room looks like. And then the upstairs with basically like so many toilets and so many showers. This area I think is like the cutest. Everything is like very minimalistic, very like what you need. I did want to focus on having like a lot of extra space. You know, like down here they could do their homework, like I've mentioned. They can move freely up here. I did put some like little poofs, not poofs, but like little cushions sitting here so like they can sit and like watch, you know, watch each other karaoke and they have a guitar. I, I don't know if I want to put a piano in here. It takes up so much space. You know, the kids' bedroom and then their little like study room, which I think this one is like another one of my favorites. Like it's the toddler room and then this one, which I think is really cool. But yeah, this build will be going up on the gallery if you guys want to, you know, renovate it, you want to play with it, that sort of stuff. Um, I had a lot of fun making this. It took me like three hours <laughs> to build this house, which I think is like a ridiculous amount of time for me to spend like just building. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>